All right. So although the numbers are not going to really matter, I, I needed something as like obviously a point of reference and, you know, something to, to compare it to. I'll put the link in the um, in the description or whatever, because, man, what a cool website. Anyways, it, I could just type in uh, whatever, uh, you know, um, starting point destination and uh, like how many knots I wanted it to go and so on and so forth. Anyways, I picked about I picked 13 knots. I well, 13s. I love I love that number to begin with, and uh, it seemed like an uh, uh, an okay number for merchant shipping uh, around that time, anyways, or even maybe now. But anyway, so I decided I wanted, to, to, like I said, to find out basically just how um, you know how much longer it would take to go all the way around. Uh, what basically I'm calling it, I guess, uh, the Trans Cape Town um, route rather than going through the Suez Canal. Uh, because, I mean, it's going to be important. And yet again, like I said, it's just a point, a point of reference, like the speed or whatever, the amount of uh, time. I mean, uh, in the long run, all I need to know is, is it going to be 100 times more, 50 times, 10, whatever. So that way, you know, if Der Weltkrieg rules say, okay, takes X amount of times to get from, you know, wherever to wherever, at least I can start framing something like that, getting some kind of frame of reference or whatever. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But uh, let's see if I got my numbers here. This is down on my stool. Watch, I can just grab the uh, whatever. So from Bombay to Aden or Aden here at 13 knots is about 5.6 days. And from here to here to the Suez was about 4.6 days. And then to get all the way to Gibraltar is uh, a total, uh, sorry, and um, from Suez to Gibraltar, so from here to here, is 7.4 days and it's a total of 17.6 days to get from here to there using that route now here goes the bad thing and this is the beautiful thing about uh i mean look hey you can even see like it's got the panama to cape town uh sea route oh i just love maps anyways um so here we go bombay to cape town all the way to here, basically, is um, 17.8 days. Okie doke. And then at 13 knots. And uh, from Cape Down, all the way to, uh, I think, yeah, uh, all the way to um, uh, Gibraltar is 19.3 days. So that comes out to a total of 32.1 days, which is 2.1 times uh, it takes longer to go around uh, using the Trans Cape Town route uh, than going through the Suez Canal to get to Gibraltar. So that's the way I'm going to start looking at things. I'm like, okay, if it's going to take whatever, then it should take 2.1 times long, and so on and so forth. It's a long way. I don't even. He's got this weird. Th I mean, maybe it is a weird thing because it's just because I don't understand it yet about the calculations or whatever about distance and shipping points and uh, for research. I'm just like, what? Like, oh, okay, for every 10, and then it drops down to one for three or three for one. I'm like, holy cow. I'm like, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. So like I said, I'm ways away at ways from trying to figure all that type of stuff out. But cool is all I got to say. And I'm telling you one thing. This is just going to be monster important. And uh, what? that's basically what uh, it's going to be a huge focus. Okay, hope you're having a great time. See ya.